Hi guys, I'm more Worst weddings in wedding history. Nope, I'm not just talking about mine. If you guys watch my story time, then you know. And if you didn't, then mm, guess it sucks to suck. <laughs> Sir, please handle the bride with care. That's just what happens when a man tries to be gentle. Oh, these people doing a little sand ceremony. Oh, they're one of those people. I don't think those ceremonies are cute when you got like one side and the other side and they come together and they make a candle or whatever they do. I just don't like it when people think they're so special and so unique. Like, oh, my wedding's different. We put two socks together instead of two candles. I'm just like, okay, same thing. Her wedding actually different. I love the fact this groom didn't even blink. He was like, we doing this. This was my idea. This was the one thing I had to say in this wedding. I am not stopping. I will keep pouring this sand, even if it's the last thing I do as a married man on the wedding day. He's still not even, <laughs> He just looking at her. Oh, you got some bachelor party regret? Well, too bad. I got my own sand ceremony to tend to. So we got this lovely bride and her blushing groom. And sir, I approve that beer. You got some style. They're about to be joined in holy matrimony forever and eternity by this man. And you know, when a wedding is happening, people are just part of the wedding. That's what they're doing. What you gotta do? We just gotta sit here and look at these people. But I guess not always. Yeah, I've decided to live their lives. This man just straight up interrupted the wedding. He like, oh, sorry, ma'am. I got a phone call. This is more important to me right now. Just hold on a second. I told you to set the oven to 300 degrees. Really? Oh, one more second. One more second. Are you serious? Oh, the bride's mom got up. She like, this is disrespectful now. When the bride's mother is involved, you know it about to get real. This is my, my, my girlfriend. Oh, it's my girlfriend. My girlfriend. I was at least expecting him to say it was his mom. His house was on fire. He had some diarrhea. <laughs> Where did you find this man? I found him on the internet. That's why you can't buy everything online. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring it out. Careful with that gate. Whoa. They just like. Sweet old Mama Jane spent three days cooking that cake. What a performance. Who knows, maybe Mama Jane put salt in the cake instead of sugar. And this actually turned out to be for the best. Cause that video I did where I tried wedding cakes, I'm pretty sure that happened. Cause one of those cakes tasted straight up like a burrito. This next couple here was in a bit of a budget. Understandable, weddings are expensive. So you just gotta cut some costs. That budget's really burning a hole in his pocket. Ready to go, let's go. Come on, you can do oh. this. Oh my God, look at the state of the floor. Yeah. Oh my god, he actually trans. Well, Dean wasn't about to let the transport run smoothly. A busted, dirty limo just showed up. You pick up money and that's what you got. You don't even got no leftover fries in there. At least triple check. Maybe some fries just fell through the crack. Brides be hungry. You just gotta feed them a little extra fry. There's no way I can get down there. Car park doesn't lead to the hotel. I'm not walking in my wedding dress. Oh, she not walking in her wedding dress. Oh, she levitating now. Walking is for peasants and non-brides. As the guests take their seats, Kaylee has no choice but to continue on foot. Oh no! Oh, they made her walk now. Humiliation. You know, it's up in water. It's panicking me now. You don't want me to go and make some inquiries. No. You like you're not going anywhere. You stay right here. No inquiries will be made today. I'm going. Oh, my heels are digging into the dirt. This is so bad. I'm upset. What's going on? This is ridiculous. Why have I got to walk through this? Why would I walk through this? Why am I not levitating through it? I knew I should have splurged on that dress I could float. That's what we get for spending all that money on McDonald's for the ride. And she didn't even get no extra fries. But you know, car troubles are a thing, even on your wedding day. It's just literally lost power. The power be lost. The groom about to be lost as well. That's what the hell. Can you get out? Just on the safe side. Can you get, can you get out? No, seriously. Ma'am, let's just float you over to safety. Run! What the? It breaks, it's, my, it's on my insurance. Do you realize this is my wedding day? Do you realize this is my wedding day? There is no indicator of me having a wedding today. I'm not in a full blown dress. We weren't just driving to a church. Seriously, what possible indicator could he have that it's your wedding day? This one a little bit annoying to me because yes, I get it, car troubles, but no need to take it out on this man. I mean, it's not like he controls the car. I'm gonna sink in it. This oh, spider. <laughs> <gasps> Did sprinklers just go off? Oh, girl. You know what? Let's just pretend it's good luck. Spiders and being showered on the middle of the road. Nothing sounds more lucky. John! John! I didn't even know it 
Christ! It's on your arm and all. It's everywhere. Oh no, it's on her arm as well. Oh, oh no. You know, you could just say it's an artsy dress. Be like, oh, I paid thousands of dollars for this. Would you just get married wearing a white dress? Oh, she don't know the trends. It's even on my shoes! It's on the veil! Dude! I don't know why they keep telling us that it's on the shoe, on the veil, on the arm. Girl, we see it. It's everywhere. Yes. This next groom decided to help his bride pick some dresses out. And let's just have this be a little lesson for us all. Oh my god. What is that? What is that, Leon? I'm bearing gifts. Why is... does it look like a fancy dress? Are your bride's dresses? Oh. I'm sure. Why are they knitted? I'm sure you are all gonna love them. Why are they knitted? No. They're amazing. Candy. What the hell is this? I'm not wearing this, so is it? Sir, that's a shawl. That is not a bridesmaid dress. She just put it over to cover her so she gets cold. How is that a dress? In what brain would that be a dress? Maybe a man brain. What sizes it's are even they? Been signed as well. This is not a dress. That's a t-shirt. This is take a t-shirt to nursery and let your child draw on it. He just drew something on some random t-shirt and he's like, there you go. You're not spending any more money. That's your dress. You know, I really admire them for asking the size. Who cares about sizing? You got a t-shirt. Is that a Yoda? It's not even baby Yoda. Who want to wear that? Well, Candy might like that sort of thing. Candy? What the f I think it's safe to say that Candy wanted Baby Yoda. Why are we wearing white on your wedding day? Oh, that is a f take. They ain't wearing that. She were worried about the fact she about to wear white on the friend's wedding day. The fact that this t-shirt with Yoda on it is white. Not worried about the fact that it's a t-shirt that some toddler just took to art class. Oh wait, no, it's not Yoda, it's their initials. That kind of makes it worse. These people got a full wedding party they want some pictures with. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god. Oh no. That little brooch thing just went, nope. You know what? That's kind of your own fault. It's not normal to have this many people in your wedding party. Who got that many friends? So we got this dude all the way in the back and from the very beginning before this bridge finally gives out, he already holding on. He's like, mm. he felt it coming and he knew his friends were not about to do anything to help. He's just grabbing on security. Oh I'm literally this girl farthest to the right. She's just like, I am done with you guys. You made me pay for this expensive dress, fly for three hours in the middle seat, drive through this damn lake in the middle of nowhere and now you got me on this flimsy bridge that just gave up all hope oh hell no just abandoned the bride every man for themselves except that guy on the end i mean he's done for now these people they creative this groom organized the entire wedding and he was just like girl you show up to a secret mystery location mm. does that sound like a good idea to you i don't know comment below to me it sounds like a terrible idea the girls are starting to suspect where they are heading look at the signs in front of you what's the sign they've the been at that like the five the past We're five signs no, we're not. We can't go on a plane. We've got no pants. We got no pants. We cannot go on a plane with no pants. That's the most important part of airplane boarding. You gotta have pants. Got no change of clothes. We got nothing. I'm yeah. not. I'm not gonna take get sent <gasps> into this. Ma'am, I see a whole lot of people on an airplane with no pants on. As the bridal party arrive at the back of the plane, Adam and best man Alec are hiding up front. This man literally organized an airplane party. At first I thought like, oh, there's gonna be romantic. They're about to fly somewhere real tropical, real nice. Nope, that's not it. Are we going somewhere now? Are we going anywhere? Are we going anywhere? Please tell me we're going somewhere. Girl, no, you're getting married in a plane. That's a surprise. You get a plane party with no pants. Gather together to celebrate the very special love between Bianca and Adam by joining them in marriage. <laughs> Oh, that just seems so awkward. She does not look happy. He ain't never gonna stop hearing about this. Sir, you have failed at wedding planning. What is that? A man with a big beard and a tiny tractor. Seriously, why are you stopping here? Why are you stopping here? Keep going. That is not for me. I said, that is not for me. What the heck? You're very welcome. You're Charlie the Wits. That's what she gonna go to the church in? The tractor? Oh no, girl. And when he says chariot, oh he means chariot. I mean, it's cute. You can see the effort behind it. I feel bad because, I mean, you could tell she's miserable. You could tell she was not having it. She was like, mm, I feel like Cinderella. But after she had turned back into a damn tractor. So this bride let her groom pick where they were gonna have her wedding reception and she wanted a palace. And instead she got some weird nightclub. We just need a minute to take this all in. I know, it doesn't have a wedding vibe though, whatsoever. That don't even have a nightclub vibe. What, what place is this? Okay. And where are we gonna have our dinner? Hey, it's a casual dinner. What do you we'll mean it's a casual? We'll be having barbecue. 
She just like, get me out of this dress. Give me the divorce papers. I am done. I can't spend the time with you like this. <laughs> you need to understand that I'm stressed as well. Uh, that's pissing me off already, seriously. That's it, this is what I could afford. This was the bushes. I didn't have a suit. You've got a nice wedding dress. You have a nice chair as well, and it's too complex. You've cake? got a church. No, there is no wedding cake because I don't have a budget for that. Did he just say no wedding cake? Oh, oh, sir. I mean, we could deal with the nightclub thing. But no wedding cake? That's big words. If there's something that's important in life, it's cake. So, what can I do? It's a barbecue thing. And there's no wedding barbecue. cake. Girl, there's no wedding cake. This is straight up depressing. It's the final straw for Paulina. Everybody wants you their know? wedding cake. Like, this is where you get the picture. That's the final straw. There's no wedding cake. The marriage is off. The fact that the the cake was the final straw. That's a whole mood. Girl, you and I are soulmates. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think of these weddings, and I'll see you back on the next video. Bye!